Hey everybody, welcome back to homerecordingmadeeasy.com and here on my YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Superior Drummer 3 with Studio One and how to take it and make it a multi-track output so you can have all your different drums on different tracks in the console view in Studio One so you can process them with your own plugins and you can control the levels and the panning and everything like that. So before we get to that, if you like what you see in this video, please hit the subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so you know when I'm posting new content also, I wanna give you a free gift. Go out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com and get your free mixing course. It's worth about 50 bucks. It's right on the homepage, big orange button. You can't miss it. It's my gift to you just for visiting homerecordingmadeeasy.com. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm gonna give you even another gift to go along with that mixing course. So stick around. So here we go into Studio One. So here is Superior Drummer 3. Opened up my browser, left kick, click, drag it on here. Went and just got a stock groove that came standard with Superior Drummer. And here is our stock groove in Superior Drummer 3. And you can see that it also creates a track down here in the console view. Here we go. Basic drums sound great. Okay, but now how do you get that to be a multi-track output so you can have each one of the individual elements on separate tracks? Good question. Here's real simple to do in Studio One. Down here in the bottom left-hand corner of the console view, you wanna click the instrument tab and you'll see right here where it says Superior Drummer. Here's our, our instrument. It created this when I put Superior Drummer into the session. I am gonna click on the little drop down arrow here and I'm gonna to go to the second choice here called expand. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna give us all the available outputs with Superior Drummer 3 that are available to us, okay? I'm gonna come over here to Superior Drummer 3, click on the mixer, and as you can see, based on this drum kit and this groove that I picked, it already put together the internal mixer. And you can see uh, that everything is above, right here, the output is all labeled out one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, across all the different elements, all the different drums. That's why it's only coming out on one track. So what we wanna do is we wanna change that. So watch what happens in the console view in Studio One. I'm gonna leave kick, the kick in on one, two. Let's say the kick out, say I wanna put the kick in and the kick out and the kick sub, those three on separate tracks. I could go one, two, I can come up here to three, four. Now kick out is three, four. I could go to five, six here. Now we'll have our three kicks on three separate tracks. And if I come over here on the left by Studio One, when I opened up Expand, I'm gonna go three, four, five, six. Now our three kick tracks are on three separate tracks, okay? And I would do that for all the tracks across the entire mixer. Now, another thing you can do, just so you know, is that let's say you didn't wanna have all three kicks on separate tracks. Let's say you wanted all the kicks to be consolidated from the mixer here in, in Superior Drummer into just one track in the console view. Well, that's really simple. <coughs> Pardon me. You can have kick in on one, two, kick out on one, two, and kick sub on one, two. And then let's say you want your snares, snare top and snare bottom combined together. You could put both of those on three, four, for example. Okay, so and then let's say your hats you want to put on five, six. Okay, and then rack tom you could put on seven, eight, rack tom two, nine, ten. You get the idea. Now, when I play back this groove, you're going to have all the kicks on track one, all the snares on track two, and the hi hats on track three. Let's check that out. Okay, we have some bleed coming in. Hi hats. Snares, kicks, okay? See how that works? So then what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you go through all of the tracks because we're gonna have some bleed on one, two, because I didn't change all the toms here. So if I want this to go to, what do we do here? Three, four, five, six, and I would come over here and go seven, eight. Let's say I'm gonna put all my toms on seven, eight. But you can put each individual tom on separate outputs if you want, but just keep in mind, you only have a certain amount of outputs with this VST. Floor tom I'll put on seven, eight. And again, you could put all the toms separately if you want to. Um, and then let's see, floor tom two I could put on seven, eight. And then I have my overhead dynamic, my overhead condenser mics, I have all of these, and I could go ahead and I could put those on different outputs. If you don't wanna use some of the microphones, say you just wanna use the close mics, let's say. You can turn down all the internal faders here in Superior Drummer so you don't hear them coming out of one, two. You can do all of that as well. Okay, you can make sure that all of this is turned down here. 
like this. You can also uh, come down here. Okay, so we have all our outputs here. And now if I were to play this back again. Kick. Snare. Hats. So that's how you customize. Then you could just double click down here and you could rename these if you want to. Right? And now you have three separate tracks that you can use all your plugins like you would just like an audio track. And the other thing to keep in mind here is in the mixer, it's already kind of pre-mixed here. You can see like the kick in is turned down a little bit. The kick out is turned down a little bit. I would typically put these at unity gain here, all these faders, so I don't have to deal with the mixer inside of Superior Drummer, but that's just the way I like to work. And then I can control the volume from here in Studio One. So that's how you route the outputs in Superior Drummer 3 so you can control each individual of one of your tracks in Studio One. Real simple to do, real easy, and gives you much more control. So I wanna thank you for watching this video. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, I wanna give you another free gift. So again, if you go out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com and you got your free mixing course, I also wanna uh, give you a 25% discount coupon code. So if you want to pick up one of the other paid training courses on my website, you can do that. The coupon code is YouTube25. Put that at checkout. That'll take out 25% off any of the, of the other training courses. The links and all the coupon codes will be in the description box below. So until next week, I've been Dave with HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll speak to you soon. Take care, everybody.